This is an infra patellar strap, which is pretty much what it sounds like. It will, the patient will wear it um, under their knee, pretty much like that, and it'll wrap around the bars of the uprights, just hold them in place. We use this instead of a knee strap, uh, like somebody else might use a four pole or a five pole knee, big knee pad strap thing. I have a pattern for this, but this is the basic shape of it. And the pediatric ones are a little smaller, but this is the adult one. This is about two and a quarter by five and a quarter. And I cut two of them out of just elk leather. I've got a piece of Dacron, it's about 25 inches long. And that should be long enough for pretty much anybody, your average patient. I also have some 25 durometer EVA here. And that's one eighth inch thick. I've got a piece of cowhide, some adhesive hook Velcro and loop Velcro. I'm gonna take the Dacron Put this hook on it, covering about an inch of it, and then I'm going to lay it right in the center of one of these, just like that. So this is now sewed on here, exactly like the top of this other one that you can see. Now I'm going to take this foam and I'm going to glue this other pattern, or this other uh, leather piece, uh, just straight onto that using some barge cement. This is gonna go against the leg and so it's eventually gonna be curved and so it's easier if you just curve it now when you're doing all of this. So just curve it, stick it to the P-cell like that. And so cut all that off, no need to go sand this. When I do this, I just use any uh, medium sort of grit sandpaper. On the side, you just need to break the edges, but on the very end, you're going to want to get a deep sky. Now this is sanded, I'm just going to Use uh, the barge cement again to glue this to the cowhide. Same thing as when uh, I stuck this padding onto this leather, I'm just going to curve the leather so that later on it'll get less wrinkles in it and stuff when it uh, actually does curve like that on the patient's leg. At the end of each of these curves, I'm going to make a slit. What's about to happen is I'm just going to set this on here and fold this leather over like that and then sew that. But I'm going to put glue on this top piece so that when I fold that leather over it will actually hold. While that dries, I'm going to go sew these ends. Everything, um, this whole curved end basically, everything except the edges. Alright, so you can see I only sewed the edge up to the slit. Now, I already had glue here from before. I have glue on here now. I'm going to line this up the best that I can. Let's pull this cowhide tight and wrap it over. Now, this whole area that I didn't sew before, I'm going to go sew. So you can see what I just sewed now. So that. So if you look on the back end, it should pretty much be sewed the entire way around. And now I'm going to trim off my extra cowhide. Now I'm going to take a razor blade and trim this edge here. Uh, when you're doing this, 
I would use a pretty sharp razor blade and just don't push very deep. It's all right if you have to make a couple of passes to cut through, but you just don't want to push really deep and cut through and uh, cut a lot through the leather underneath. Generally, whatever my distance between my stitches and the edge is, I just sort of double that, and so I match the distance coming out here, just so that it looks even. And you can see that I just, I just barely scored it, so I'm pulling on it, and it's sort of tearing this apart. It's not actually a clean cut, because I didn't cut all the way through. And that's good. Now I can just go back and do this and the leather underneath will barely even be scored. And you should just check your leather before you send it out. I mean, part of it isn't even cut and what is is just scratched. It's not actually deep. Uh, you don't want to send out a bad strap. And let's clean it up. Uh, this is barge thinner. And then add some loop to the closure system. And I always make my loop extra long. As you can see here, it's about an inch and a half longer than the hook is. And I'm just going to sew a few cutoffs here so that when the practitioner's in the room, they can just trim it while they're in the room. So I have to burn the edges because Dacron will unravel, but it'll make it a lot faster of a process. So this is the complete infrapatellar strap, and you can see the cutoffs I sewed on there. And this is how you put it on. I always wrap it around the lateral upright. Stick this through the center. You could use a pen or something if you have to, but the finger usually just works. Alright, and it'll wrap around the back of the other upright and back onto itself just like that. And it can slide in either direction, so it's adjustable in that way. And that's about it for that.